Had not fallen started. No, we're joined now with Rory Kennedy for the Crunching Gears Rapid Fire. Rory, are you ready for this? All set, Kevin. Let's, let's go. Let's go for it. So, favourite film? Favourite film, Shawshank. Got to be, sir. Okay. Favourite music or band? Favourite music? Well, Coldplay. Coldplay is favourite band and my favourite music as well. Okay. Your favourite meal? Favourite meal? Um, well, I suppose I like carbonara but I like steak as well, so okay. you know, either or. Okay. Your favourite drink? Favourite drink? Well, not a great drinker, as you know, mm -hmm. but um, I'll have something like Champagne. <laughs> Champagne, I'll go for this one. I'll go for that. Yeah. <laughs> Top holiday destination? Top holiday destination for me is... Um, Downings. Marseille and Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Your favourite sport? Favourite sport, Australian. Okay. Um, glass half full or half empty? My glass is always half full, for sure. Yeah. Your toughest opponent? Toughest opponent? I've had quite a few toughest opponents, but when... When you're co driver and different drivers, you have various different opponents. But when I was with Bertie back in the tough back days, and mm -hmm. this fantastic car here, our toughest opponent without doubt was Os McGill. Okay. Yeah. Your, your best ever time in a rally car? Best ever time in the rally car. Favourite rally, if you like. Mm -hmm. You know, we've won quite a few, but the best and most memorable rally, unfortunately, we didn't run it, was in the Manx 1990 and the iconic BMW M3 with Bertie Fisher. Mm -hmm. And then, I suppose, that the biggest regret? I guess regret was not one of the Manx in 1990 in the same M3 with Bertie Fisher. Yeah. Your sporting icon? Sporting icon, Bertie Fisher. Okay. The greatest ever rally driver? Greatest ever, um, well, in terms of worldwide, I suppose, or globally, the greatest ever mm -hmm. had to be somebody like Sebastian Loeb or something to that effect. Yeah. And then closer to home? Closer to home, greatest ever. Um, quite a few, obviously Bertie was and during that era he was, there was nobody to touch no. him mm -hmm. and then in years to come then, later years there was obviously Andrew Nesbitt and, and the Irish scene and Eugene Donnelly, James Cullen, mm -hmm. quite a few, Gary Jennings, yeah. Ali, Ali Fisher, yeah. you know, could go on. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. uh, your sport and icon? Favourite sport and icon is Ari Vatten. Okay. The competitor you got on well with? I don't mean Gordy get on very well, I Gordy mm -hmm. Gordy Noble. Uh -huh. Um Harry Vatman or Colin McRae? Well I'm afraid I'm a Colin McRae fan, I've been Colin McRae fan okay. for sure without a doubt. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. The best stage you ever you come off it and you and the driver just felt this was it, this was as close to perfect as you're gonna get. Well some of them stages are way back. I know I'm sounding a bit older, but um you know, going back a long way, but in 1990 and that M3 and Night of Man was fantastic. And, yeah. You know, fastest time after fastest time, and then somebody beat me by a second and then responded to that again and coming back mm -hmm. again. They were, they were incredible days where like, we're younger and tougher again and given 100% and no quarter given. Like, no, so and just everyone was flowing. Just the everything was flowing and the team was great and the captain was great, the driver, and tires, and everything. Yeah. Fantastic. And you don't often get that or yeah. you don't always get that. No. So. Uh -huh. uh, the biggest save in the rally here? Biggest save? Um, uh, well, the biggest save, I wasn't in this rally car, but the biggest save ever in a rally car was Bertie and Austin Fraser in Galway way back in yeah. 85, it was, and yeah. the Manta was an incredible mm -hmm. bit of driver's skill yeah. and save because it was a real life situation and mm -hmm. people and, you know, yeah, down on the skate road, the children, and, yeah. uh -huh. and, you know, to, to avoid that accident and that save was incredible. Mm -hmm. like, you know, that was a huge bit of luck, don't get me wrong, course, Bertie was here today, would tell you that. But that was the greatest save I've ever seen mm -hmm. in rally. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's captured. Captured, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your favourite car? BMW M3. The and GXA9427. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the worst car you ever saw? Worst? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been fortunate that most of the cars I've been on have been very good, but some bad ones away back at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But uh, I couldn't highlight one. No. I've, had, I've been fortunate to find some very good yeah. cars, some better than others, and some worse than others. Is there one driver you wish you'd always done a rally with? Well, he's probably know I've done a lot of different yeah. drivers. Has everybody left? You know, and the, and unfortunately, all the drivers I've been with have top professionals and brilliant mm -hmm. drivers and brilliant skill. They kept me safe as well through all that time. Mm -hmm. um, as a one, uh, I suppose it'd be good to do a rally with Donna mm -hmm. and Kelly, and we're here today at uh, and you know uh, on the open day here at, in Frosts for Donna's uh, stables or museum, yeah. I think we call it. And it's fantastic coming here and relive all these memories. But I uh, sometimes it's nice to be around with Donald. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the one that you've already answered. That's the one that got away, the Manx, I suppose? Probably the one that got away was the Manx uh, back in the day. Another one that got away on us was 
uh, circuit a few years or back in 12, I think Gary and me were leading the crash in the very last stage uh -huh. and lost the rally and so on and so forth. That was definitely one that got away. Uh, there's probably a few others as well, but they're the most uh, memorable the ones. Still still yeah. uh -huh. Tell us something surprising about yourself that not many other people will know. Um, something surprising. Well, my main sport obviously is rallying. Um, uh, also play a bit of football. And um, I run the London Marathon twice. Oh, right. something I'm very proud of. Yes, and definitely. I continue to do so today. Uh huh. If not rallying, what other sport would you have pursued? I think I would like to have pursued um, football, maybe more as a player when I was mm -hmm. younger. I gave it up for the rallying. Mm -hmm. Whereas my brothers, they continue playing football. And they were very good footballers, and okay. maybe I would add a bit more to give there. But okay. Enjoy it. Gravel or tar? Uh, well, I'm, a, I'm an exponent of both. i um, brought up in tar, uh, converted to gravel, but um, either or is fantastic for me. Yeah. Gravel's more spectacular and more sliding about, and mm -hmm. the car's moving all the time, whereas in tarmac you have to be more precise, less sliding if you're going to be doing fastest times and mm -hmm. stuff. So really, either or, but yeah. I'm brought both up in tarmac, yeah. I suppose that's, that's the one. Yeah. What scares you? Sometimes I'll knock, I'll, I get a wee fright there after you go to the top and you go to, I don't mean go up the start, but you go to the top and you start going down the far side. Um, when you're competing at the top level and you're going to win the rally, you really have to, you know, really have to go on the edge. And a few times I came a bit close to, to the barriers and I got a couple of wee frights then, but you move, very quickly you move on because you've got to read the notes. Oops, like uh, So I hey, a nod wee time there, I got a wee fright there. Yeah. But thankfully not, not very often now. <laughs> uh, I meet most challenges head on. Yeah, okay. If you could change one thing about your rallying career up to this point, what would it be? I wouldn't change one thing. I have an incredible uh, career, so mm -hmm. I, and I was able to balance. I was able to balance work, family, and rallying together for the past forty years, yeah. maybe. Uh -huh. So obviously, I have to be very grateful for that. And you know, I've absolutely no regrets. We did some brilliant rallies, brilliant people, and uh, there's not one thing I would change about it. Like it was every bit of it's yeah. been, a, been a blast. Like. Yeah. Well, Rory, thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Cheers, Kevin. Thanks, lad. Good Thanks, lad. <laughs>